Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to showcase the new release by Altenew. This is the February release and it is packed with gorgeous products. I'm going to uh, browse them through really quickly for you to see and then I will make a card. First of all, they have released two small stamp sets. I love them because not only they are very cheap to grab, but also you can create really beautiful and elegant cards with them. So the first one is called uh, Lavender Bud, and there is a matching die for that as well. And uh, the second one is the Vintage Rose Add-on that stamps beautiful leaves. Now, just like with every release, they have beautiful flower stamps. It comes with three flower designs, leaves as well as a sentiment that says stay beautiful and there are also matching dies. I do keep them in the same packaging but they come separately. This is a great stamp set to practice your coloring skills with any medium and there is also a stencil that is available that gives you both the negative and the positive design which means that you can do masking and stenciling as well and I am planning to do a video using those next week since they have uh, lots and lots of um, stamp sets now that uh, match together with stencils just to show you a few ideas on how you can use them. Another flower design which is my absolute favorite from the whole release is called Dotted Blooms. I love the elegance of this design. I think it creates beautiful cards and this is the one that I will be using today. Again, it comes with a matching die separately and um, there is also a stencil for doing the stenciling and masking techniques. Here is another gorgeous design and uh, this is called Exotic Tulips. I think this is uh, great for my art journaling uh, project. And um, this is a layering stamp set so you can get uh, different layers to stamp one on top of the other to get beautiful uh, dimension. But it also gives you the outline so you can just color them with your mediums. Of course, uh, there are matching dies available if you want to grab those as well. And plus, it comes with a stencil for both stenciling and uh, masking and I will be using this stamp set on the video next week. And the last flower stamp set from this release is called Frilled Petals. Again, it's uh, lovely flowers with uh, stems and um, layers that you can stamp one on top of the other, but again, you can just use the outline and color it in. It also comes with three sentiments. And again, there are uh, matching dies available as well as the stencil. And here is a very unique design. This is called Baroque Motifs and it gives you these beautiful swirls of leaves. One of the stamps is really big, so if you are into scrapbooking, I think this is a perfect stamp set for that as well. And I think it will uh, make any card or project looking really elegant. There are also matching dies available and a stencil. And I'm planning to make a video using that as well since I find it really beautiful. Now, in terms of sentiments, they have released two sets. One of them is called uh, Better Together, that gives you a combination of typed and handwritten words. Really beautiful. And I will be using one of those sentiments for my card today. And the second one is called Reason to Smile, with smaller sentiments, packed with uh, different sentiments here. These are two of those sets that you will be grabbing again and again, since they are really generic, and you can use them all year round. And now I have two more stamp sets to show you. The first one is called Trendy Circles and uh, you can create beautiful backgrounds. Some of the semi-circles combine with each other to create uh, beautiful designs. Mix and match the colors. There are also matching dyes if you want to grab those. And finally, these are the botanical silhouettes with beautiful designs, perfect for nesting on top of your focal points. And there are also three sentiments in this set. Stay beautiful. You are so fabulous and stay blessed. And as always, there are matching dyes available. So that was the whole release. I will be back next week with more videos featuring uh, some of these stamp sets. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below which ones of these you want me to use and inspire you. So today I will be using my absolute favorite from this release, which is the Dotted Blooms. And it also comes with a leaflet to give you more inspiration on how you can use it. I believe this is the perfect flower to create beautiful and elegant cards and that's exactly what I'm going for today. Now I'm planning to do some embossing, that's why I'm preparing with my uh, embossing pillow, my area. This way uh, the embossing powder is going to stay only where it's supposed to. 
I'm going to stamp with my embossing ink and I'm using my misty just to make sure that I have a good impression. I am applying on top rose gold embossing powder and I will heat set it with my heat gun. Now since today is the first day of this release, uh, there is a blog hop to celebrate it and uh, there are lots of giveaways as well. So make sure to visit my blog to enter the giveaway and learn all about the rest of the prizes. Now you can use this as a layering stamp set. There are three little stamps that fit inside the flowers, which I'm going to place. For stamping them, I'm going to use the two lighter colors from the rose petal oval set. So I am using rose quartz, which is the lightest one, and puffy heart, which is the second. Now here I'm using puffy heart and I'm going to touch only areas of these stamps. I am also using my finger just to make sure to control where that ink goes. So I need to have a more concentrated color at the center of the flowers or at the base of that bud. Now remember that these inks not only come as a set, you can grab them separately and also you can grab them as ink cubes which are more economical. But in any case, I love that they come in a set so you never have to figure out which colors go perfectly together. And now here I'm stamping the third flower. I couldn't fit all of them at once since those two stamps, the bottom two flowers, are touching each other. So you have to stamp them separately. And I did the exact same technique for that flower as well. Now another fun thing about Altenew is that they have the exact same colors of inks into markers. So I'm using my alcohol marker here and this is a rose quartz, the lightest of the colors that I used. And I'm just adding uh, some uh, brush strokes, making sure that I don't cover up the whole petal since I like that white at the edge. Now I'm going to use the matching die, place it on top of my panel and cut it out. And I will be using both of those pieces, the white and the flower. I just want to pop the flower against the background. And look how gorgeous this looks. I think it would make a great element for scrapbook pages as well. Now I'm going to use this die that uh, cuts out a frame with uh, lovely stitching. I'm going to run it through my big shot and um, it's going to give me a lovely detail to make my card look more finished. Now in this stamp set there are lots of sentiments, really beautiful ones that you can use. But since this is a new release I decided to showcase the Better Together stamp set which is packed with sentiments and I went with a beautiful one that says together we can do great things. I'm going to stamp that again with my embossing ink and emboss it with the same rose gold embossing powder and I have uh, enough space on the right side of my panel to do so. And now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to stick the white panel directly on top of my card base. This is an A2 standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have uh, a space where my flower fits perfectly inside, but I used foam squares at the back so it is a little bit raised and adds dimension. And now some finishing touches. I have a very thin satin ribbon which uh, I have thread underneath the flower and I'm just tying a little bow at the stem there. And for a touch of sparkle I added a few pink gems. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and you got inspired. Don't forget this is part of a blog hop. Make sure to visit my blog and enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day.